Well, I'll tell you what, if I was stood here, like, away from the mic, that would be great. If I stand here, you can't actually see me. Mm. Now, get it's that fixed, will you? Why is, why is everything moved? I can't do that. That's in shot. I think there's a good shot of me, though. Oh, really? Let's have a look at the shot of you, then. Yeah, yeah, you're fine. And then let's have a look at our guest chair, which will be empty. Yeah, that's good. Dominic, make like Louis. <laughs> Hi. Do the voice. Hi, I can't do Louis. Hi. 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 Yeah, that's it. Perfect. It just sounds slightly Australian. Hi. Hi. Hey. All right. Thank you. That will do. Go on the website now, bbc.co.uk forward slash radio one. And let's bring in this morning's guest. It is the one and only, there is only one, and thank goodness, Mr. Louis Spent. Hi. 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 Spit guard up, Chris. Oh, oh. <laughs> Stop it. You, are, you do have matching outfits, almost. We do, we didn't even call each it's other. It's amazing. <laughs> He's gone for the grey, I've gone for the blue and well, grey. We've both yeah. got black and white shoes on as yeah. well, but mine are Converse, because he can't have Converse, because his arches are dropped. Yeah, I've got flat, I've got flat Oh, you, they don't work for you, do they? No, no. So I told him he needs to do point work. If I can get him some ballet classes, mm. yeah. and then those dropped arches would be fine. Sure. I mean, you know... Could I, I, could I do ballet, though, a man of my... Well, the my... way you're going, darling, you look like a ballet dancer. What are you Hi. on, a, a, a tissue and pee diet? I mean, you're disappearing day oh. by day. Tissues and peas. Oh yeah, well, you can put some salt on the tissue paper if you want to make really? it a little bit tasty, yeah. yeah. It just, oh, cotton wool's quite good, that expands. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those were the days, but it would give you a bit of constipation. Not good. So do you think I look good? I think you look great. Like I say, from when you're in New York coming knocking on my back door. Because it was like, <laughs> before you know it, literally, I'm in New York yeah. doing my show, like you said, for Oprah Winfrey <laughs> Network, mm -hmm. right. and then I get this phone call, well, a text, and Chris says he's round the corner. Yeah. I'm like, well, you know, you can pop and see me, and before you say Jack Robson, there he is, banging on my back door, and we, where did we go? We went, who owned that bar we went to with bad service? What was it, Jay-Z and... Whoa. Remember we went for a oh, burger? Oh, was that Jay-Z's place, yeah. Is we it? Went with we pig. went to the pig place. Yeah, the, the pig place. The piggy pig place. Yeah, and that the had more piggy pig? than me. Please don't come on the radio to slag people off. Oh, no, look, we I'm not doing... Do, no, listen, as if I would zone. do that. I'm not doing that. I'm Hi. Just, I'm just saying the service wasn't so good. Hi. It wasn't so quick. Hi. Hello, Chris. Do you think, do you think I'm, I'm more attractive now? You've always been attractive to me, well, Chris, thank I you. must say. But, yeah, you... I mean, I, I really don't know what's going on. I mean, is it is it for me? Yes. I thought it would be, but that's fine. <laughs> you know, I heard, well, I found out the other day from watching Jonathan Ross. Yes. Obviously, I knew this anyway. Sure. Because I'm in the, with the in crowd. You were in the inner sanctum. That your man is younger than you. Yeah, by eight years. So I thought, well, if you're into the younger man, hello. <laughs> Look hello. out. Look out. I'm, I mean, I'm 24, so... Yeah, I'm only just over that. I mean, don't push it. I said you're looking good, Chris. What, are you, what are you now, 50? Yeah, if not a day. I've just got a good Botox doctor. How old are you? You're 50 years old. No, I'm not. You know I'm not 50 years so old. I didn't, I didn't know. 49. I'm, fo I'm not 49, and I'm not 46 I'm or 7. I'm 49. I'm 42. Get lost. I'm going to be 43 in April. Really? Is that I all? I tell you what. Don't antagonise oh. a guest when he's only just sat down. Honestly, you're getting more and more like me each day with that kind of <laughs> attitude, Chris. <laughs> I saw you on Jonathan. I thought you were very good. I thought yeah, you I, were. I wish I, 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 I was speaking a bit fast. I must say, you're I was, fine. Yeah, I, you know, no, I couldn't, and I kept saying all that. Yeah, yeah, mm -mm, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -mm. It's fine. Yeah, I was saying. I enjoyed your exit where you said that you'd done everything and yeah. then you just said, right, I'm done and walked off well, with I, a load of dancers. Well, I do. I, I love Jonathan because obviously we've got something in common with the pediment. You know, none yeah. of us, neither of us can speak properly. But the I thing haven't is, noticed. But the thing is, he does speak quite fast as well. So you've got mm. to get everything in your can. So I had to get everything in I could. And I thought, well, I'm done now. I mean, I've got a dame out back. I best let her in. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You don't want to be messing with the dame. You had a lot of mess with the mirror. Well, actually, I was thinking, you know, I outshone, I mean, a queen and a dame. Mm, I was sure. like, you know, mm. she can wait. She can wait. Hi, Lewis Smith. Hi. Stop it. Hi. Have you read my book? Yes. Still got it, never lost it? Yeah, it's, uh, in fact, I've got it over here. Weirdly, you've yeah, lost it. I yeah, you've lost no, it. No, I haven't. No, you're so lying. Look, no, you're going there to... There it is. See, here. No, you're lying. You're not even showing it to me. Yeah, look, 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 look. Oh, go on, get it out. Yep. Oh, it's a it's a big one, isn't it? Oh, it's yours. Yeah, it's not it's, it's not anyone else's. It's definitely yours. <laughs> yeah, get, come on, no, you don't need to see it. Come on, so, take it take it from behind. What? No. Oh. Come on, let me see. Do you want to see it? Ta da! Oh, there it is. Well done, Chris. Have you read it? No. Uh, well, I've read can you do that on the back? See what I'm doing on the back. There's a picture on the back there. Can, can you, you do that? that? Let's have a look. 
That you do a bit of yoga, you'll be doing that before you know Blimey, it. Blimey, that's not natural, surely. I can't. Do you know? I tell you what. I'm it, there. Oh, what I'm doing, I'm laying there with my feet over my head. Yeah. In a twin set. Can you still do that? Well, a push and a shove. Mm, really? Well, you'd need a push and a shove. push and <laughs> shove. Yeah. See where I we end up. <laughs> I can't. I'm not very flexible. <laughs> and I've also it's because you've got dropped arches. But I've also, I'm, I've got no balance. Really? On my life, I can't balance. Mm, the ballet. I told you. Do you know how bad it is? When I'm taking like my socks off yeah. or putting socks on, if I can't sit down, I have to lean against something. Yeah. Because if I, you I know, the solution do to that, don't wear socks. Well, no, but it's. Can you not stand on one leg? No, not really. Ever? Like, go on, stand on one leg. Okay, what, what, what and hold the other yeah. leg? Can oh, you do that? forget it. Really? Okay, ready? You don't okay. do that. Watch this. Oh, no, you are a bit wobbly there. Blimey. Oh, no, you need I to engage your centre there, I darling. Can't do it. Yeah, but how? How do I. I told you, ballet. Get your me, ballet look. tights on. Look at me, this, that's not right. It's not right, but you're not right, are you, really? Well, no, that's true. I mean, you know, you're like me. Handsome, though, aren't you? <laughs> no, gorgeous. I am handsome. I mean, if Dave weren't here, I mean, really. I can yeah. leave. Well, you can then, go on. <laughs> if you had to choose between me or Dave, who would you choose? I mean, I, I think I think after our New York experience, I think you know it's going to be, don't you? It would have to be. Every what, time. What about oh. Alad? Hello. Ah. Oh. No, Alad's like, like what? he's so pure, isn't he? Do you think? Oh, trust yeah. me. Not. Trust me, really Louis. Not. Once oh, you get my to know God. him. Oh, is it just the look? Yeah. Oh, oh right. He does have that look I've of the choir a boy. Have you? Time, yeah. Oh, what? right. So that was him who taught you. What, Black Beauty? <laughs> you taught him well then, Alad, I must say. <laughs> <laughs> Gave me a surprise in NY. <laughs> we call him Black Beauty because he's a dark horse, is <laughs> our Alad. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Oh, right. Well... I went, to, although, actually, we, me and Alad and a few of Alad's friends went to a special club in New York, yeah. didn't we? Oh, Splash really? Bar. Yeah. Did you go to Splash Bar? I did. Did you know I supply all the splash there? I could go in and go, <laughs> yes, 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 <laughs> Ah! Well, we went in there and then Alad, Alad couldn't wait to leave. He was very uncomfortable in there. Oh, really? Not your it was, cup of tea? It was a massive role reversal. Was I, that because you were there or because you felt uncomfortable generally? I was uncomfortable with the fact that Chris and I were there having a pint and a woo-woo. Yeah. And there was just a gentleman in a thong dancing mm. on the bar in front of us. And I just thought, I'm not sure if this is where we should wasn't be. Wasn't me. <laughs> it wasn't saying. you. It wasn't me. I suppose you went quite down quite well there, wouldn't you? Nice little cub. Yeah, that's what oh, they're thinking see, of you. I'm a cub. Was yeah. Oh, a cub, I yeah. think. No, he's not a bear. No, a I'm too cub. young. You're too young Thank and too you. slim now, Thank darling. You. Look Thank at you. Well, I'm a cub. cub. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm a cub. Yeah, a cuddly cub. Mm. That's nice, isn't it? Get with your gay vernacular, will you, Dave? I've heard of a cub before. It's me. I was in the Cubs at school, but that's different. No, it's a whole different... Well, I don't know, actually. Yeah. It could start there, but... Louis um, has written a book. It's called Still Got It, Never Lost It. It's Louis Spence, My Story. Mm -hmm. And... And it is my story, Chris. I wrote it all. Well, I say I wrote it all. My yeah. friend did all the spelling, but it's all my words. It's all your words? Yeah. Well, yeah, I think if you read it, you can see it's all my words. Uh, chapter one is called Nanny Downer and Nanny Twinkle, which sounds like a dance that sure. Louie would do. It's not... Uh, come on, don't tell me... Two, three, four, and Nanny, nanny Downer and nanny, nanny Twinkle. Twinkle. You haven't got down to Nanny Lock. Cause oh. Didn't you name your nans from where they come from or the dog there? Because Nanny Twinkle had no. her little dog. Nanny, nanny Lock lived down the lock, and Iris Nanny was Nanny <laughs> Downer. So, literally, they all had a name, so we knew who they were. Mm. Didn't you do that? Come on, don't no. you? Did well, you know? hang on, well, how come you had three nannies? Because I had a great nan. Oh, yeah, I see, yeah. right. I mean, she went on Choo Choo the back 90. Great. Yeah, no, but she wasn't a great as in the old great, was she? I mean, like, you know, knocking on nearly an hundred. An hundred. <laughs> <laughs> an hundred. <laughs> an hundred. So there's so Have you got to the bit where Nanny Downer, where we used to go up to Londis? Um, yes. No, you haven't. You haven't read that I bit. don't read. I'm, well, nanny, I'm dyslexic. I my nanny down, was, she was an alcoholic, bless her. We never recovered. Right. Mm. And um, we didn't We never see her. We didn't see her that much, actually, I must say, because she... It's went, always good to start a book with a nice jolly story. Well, it, it? anyway, when she when she came to visit us, what happened was, my mum, she mum got contact with her for about ten years, and then, um, because of certain reasons. Right. And then we what got... Reason? I want to know what those reasons were. Well, it, it's because my granddad wasn't very nice to her. Okay, but right. then, But then we got, we got a phone call. We'd never met her, that she was in hospital, bless her. Oh. And she, she'd actually got leukaemia. Mm. I mean, oh. and, you know, it's very sad. And, you know, she was very, very ill. So she came to stay with us. She was with us about two months. And my mum and dad back, booked an all-inclusive to Benidorm. And they thought, great, in-house babysitter. And, um, like I say, we just, like, wheeled her up to Londis and, you know, nicked a load of special brew, whacked it in a wheelchair under a crochet blanket. Yeah. You know, it was a win-win, you'd see. It's a lovely story. 
story. Yeah, see, I was nine, mm. and she was an old lady, you know, who didn't have very long to live. So we weren't going to get put away, were we? No, exactly. So, you know, there's things like that in it. And then when I went to stage school, first love, um, you know, lots of, lots of um, Spice Girls take that. And they all come round mine, the boys, in 95, to my little bed sit. Do they still come round? Um, <laughs> no. I mean, no, not since 95. No, not since I got my new sofa. Because I had an old foam sofa they couldn't all fit on. And then about oh, two weeks later, I got a knock on the door and Gary sent me a nice pull-down sofa. Oh, it was nice of him. Let me read you a little bit of Louis. Please do, on. like a little extract. But I'd like to explain to Jonathan, there are many people like Andrew who come through the door. Is that Andrew Stone? He's not in it. I didn't put him in it. It says Andrew. No, you, you got it wrong. You're reading the wrong book. And then, of course, there's Andrew Stone. Stone, Stone, Andrew Stone. No, because I can't say Stone, Stone, Andrew Stone. That's what's in this is your book. Listen, you've page, rewritten page it. Jordan I know what 90. you like. You have two minutes and it's Let reprinted. Let me read it. Right. Let me read it. And then, of course, it's Andrew Stone. Stone, Stone, Andrew Stone. No matter what you think on Pineapple Dance Studios, Andrew is amazing, and I've always looked up to him. He's only the dancer that I could have been if I'd have tried harder. Is that Chris, true? Chris, I right. mean, really. P.S. Yes, I slept with him in uh, 2003. No, I didn't. In an all-inclusive in Benidorm. No, mind you, I suppose if I did, I wouldn't remember that anyway. So you, now, do you work at Pineapple anymore? I'm still there. I'm world ambassador. I'm world ambassador now. Do you get paid by... Sorry? By them? Um, I, I, like, you, you're, do you have to go in and do a certain amount of hours? Do you... Or... I, you've uh, gone, haven't you? No, you've, no, no. Left. I am now world ambassador for Pineapple because we're all over the world with the show. And with all the stuff I'm doing, I mean, you right. know, they, they, wouldn't, they wouldn't stop me from having the opportunity. So, no. I still... No, I still get, I still get paid for the bits and And what was your title when you were there? Artistic time? director. And is there a new artistic <laughs> director? No, there isn't, because no, no one could replace could me. Replace exactly. There you go, Chris. I beat you to that one. <laughs> <laughs> but it's true. <laughs> Oh, look, they keep going in at me like that. Oh, stripes, though. I, didn't, I would what? have worn darker stripes if I'd known I was going to be on yes, screen so what, like Would you that. consider yourself to be a vain man? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no, not at all. Why would you say that? Dave? But you think you look you, good. But you, you know you look good. Well, I think I look all right for 42, but I've had some help. I mean, I've had a bit of Botox. But it's not that, though. It's just, uh, it generally... Physically. Generally, you look very well. Yeah, but I think that's because it's a dancer's life. You know, you've always been physical, and mm. I've always stayed physical. I mean, you know from doing Dance on Ice. I mean, just from your short period yeah. there, you know, I'm sure your you body did stay. tighten and tone it did. up. absolutely. Yeah. And you wouldn't have thought Dave could get any tighter. No. Well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you won't give a door a bang, though, in. <laughs> tell you that. <laughs> so if I if I started dancing, I could tighten up my body. Yeah, I told you ballet class dancing get ballet tights. But on. I can't. Like, it would I be great for you dancing. Be great, balance. great. It'd be great for your balance. It'd sort all sorts of stuff out. It'd be great for your Ooh. balance, and I'd like to see you in a pair of tights. Ooh. A I nice would pair good. of sheer. I've got tights. very good legs. Mm. Uh, oh, Dave! Louis. I can't believe you just did that. <laughs> you can't blame it on me. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's as much as I get. <laughs> You're outrageous. <laughs> Oh, I tell you what, it's better than jam from the other end, though, because that's oh. also in my book. No, listen, no, I've no. got to... No, that must happen with dancing. No, 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 yeah, it does, mm -hmm. it does, because well, you must know from when you're on the air as well. Because, honestly, no, because you have to, you know, Hold engage your tight. stomach and everything like that. Listen to this, it's in what? the book, the first time my mum met my partner, and I just got him fresh in, he didn't really speak do that you much not, English. Do you not, do you, I don't like the word partner. Partner. It's very clinical. But what do I want to say, my lover, my husband? I, I do, what, do you not like boyfriend? Boyfriend, um, yeah, he's my boyfriend. Husband. He's, well, he's my husband, he's my partner. Are you he's married? Everything. Yeah, we're in a well, civil partnership. Well, actually, we're in a civil partnership, and it can't be called a husband yet, I don't think, because it's not recognised as marriage it's yet. It's going to change, changing though, isn't it? the law, mm. yeah. So, yeah, he is, he is my husband. But the first time my mum met him, um, my mum wasn't very well, actually. She had DVT, deep right. brain thrombosis. Anyway, She's getting over it. Your family have fallen to pieces. Oh, babes, honestly. It's a surprise I'm still alive. What of my hypochondria and everything? I've had everything, but not really. Anyway. Is that so everything she, and everyone? Yeah. So she was on this medication called warfarin, which was rat poisoning, apparently. <laughs> it's, it's thins apparent. the blood, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does. Yeah. And my dad said, well, they didn't give her enough because mm. they didn't kill her. But the thing is, when she first met my partner, there she was at my house looking all nice. She just had a, well, she hadn't had her boobs done. They'd been done a while. She had facelift, boobs, and she was always well turned out. So she's sitting on the futon, because I had a futon then, in case friends come over to stay in the one bedroom. Sure, I'm with you. So literally, 
literally, as he comes in, she goes to push herself up. And as she pushes herself up, she goes... Oh, I'm like, no. you have got to be joking. Because she's on the warfarin, it thins out the blood. And where it thins out the blood, mm. yes. So, anyway, I laughed, she laughed. The more she laughed, the more she farted. <laughs> Exactly. And so, literally, my poor partner, boyfriend, husband is standing there, not speaking much English. All three as shy of them. as they come. Mm. Exactly. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> and, and yeah. Yeah. And there's, there's mum farting away. I mean, it wasn't right, but, you know, I well, I've met, it, I've it broke your, the ice. I've met your man. I think he was lying on a bed when I met him. I'm not yes, sure. Yes, when you come round, when you come round yeah. my, when you come round my flat, wasn't it? In, well, it oh, wasn't a flat. It, it was... is nice to meet you, Christoph. <laughs> I've heard many good things about you. <laughs> look after my Lolo. <laughs> That's what he said. Look after my Lolo. Yeah, look after my Lolo. I break your legs. Russian, <laughs> big fella, big, big yeah. scary fella. He's Spanish, actually. That's I, what I said. Yeah, yeah. It's a Spanish. Yo, <laughs> I hear about you. You rude man on the radio. <laughs> you look after my Lolo. I'll have you killed. Well, you said in the interview the other night on the telly that he's completely the opposite of you. He's oh, very I'm, shy and retiring and doesn't yeah. doesn't Get out enjoy of the limelight. Yeah, he doesn't want anything to do mm. with it. I mean, he actually can't like reality shows. He can't bear to watch them. He, you know, he hates the fact that he people wasn't. Been... He wasn't interested in meeting me, was he? <laughs> no, not but really. He really I, I got. Them. I mean, he, he, he was, seemed nice. No, but he's just not shy. Interested. No, he's really, really shy. I mean, so shy, like you wouldn't believe. Um, he doesn't come anywhere. With Don't me. touch me or look <laughs> me in eye. Get out! <laughs> you want to take my mandarin kidney? <laughs> <laughs> that is fine, but I'd not come. I am not wanting to go with you. I here with my sister. Yes, that's right. He was with his sister, he wasn't was, he? Yeah. Sister's nice though, weren't she? Yes, very nice. Yeah, she is nice. I'm a professional gymnast. Yeah. <laughs> now you're making sound like Boris. <laughs> well, yeah. And he, like I say, he is Spanish, but yeah, he's very, he doesn't want anything to do with yeah. the industry like that, so, no. Which is good for me, because there isn't enough room for two of us sure. anyway. Sure. No. Yeah. Jeez, could you imagine? Yeah. <laughs> could you imagine? <laughs> No, honestly, when I went to see Louis in New York, his, his apartment was like... It was a duplex, not was, an apartment. Sorry, it was a, a duplex. duplex. It was like Pineapple Dance Studio, though. People <laughs> were going, they, yeah. he's got a revolving door. <laughs> they were queuing up outside in Lakewood. But you know, I lived and who, in... And who was downstairs? No, over the road. Oh, no, that was, that was a whole right. different thing downstairs. <laughs> um, it was over the road. My apartment was on the road where they filmed Sex in the City. So Jer- Sarah Jessica's part... Sarah- <laughs> oh, I tell you what, that's tough, isn't it? Yeah. Sex in the City, city with Sarah, Sarah Jessica, Jessica Parker. Parker. That's, that's I mean, that's a nightmare for you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, her house was over the road. Yeah. So, yeah, it was a nice street. But it was nice, weren't it? Very, very nice. Mm. I did nice. give you Seriously, a tour, didn't nice. I? I took you, you up and down. You did. Well, you didn't take me down. Oh, did I not? Just down. up. Yeah, you just, just stayed up, up yeah, mm. on the top we level. Couldn't, we couldn't go downstairs. Oh, no, there were things going on, wasn't yeah. there? Yeah, the cleaner. Well, well building work. No, uh, well, no. if you want, well, some no, the, kind clean, of, the cleaners uh, are in. I think there was some building work going on. There was still a bit of banging going on. But anyway, I can't I can't clarify that. Drilling? Well, yeah. Something was vibrating. It's a rented place. I don't want to say shit. Sure, okay. It wasn't drilling, actually. There was a lot of it, but it wasn't drilling. Right. I can tell you that. Okay, all right. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Uh, something to do with spanners and nuts. Uh, yeah. But well, anyway, look. don't chip your teeth with them. Louis, I don't like... I, I wanted you to be in for a lot longer today. I know, but you were doing all your competition with them teachers. Who can well, I just say? Yeah. How did they n- learn that? I mean, they're good teachers. Yeah. They didn't have to learn that in like forty-five. It was years. Amazing, wasn't it? Did. I mean, that was incredible. I was sitting out there and thought the first one had won, and then the second one come in, and I was like, "You've got to be joking!" Mm. Amazing. That's what I thought. Yeah. Okay. What can yeah, I anyway, look. Oh, can I just say as well that I'm doing I'm doing my book signing on That's Wednesday. What I was ask. Oh, yeah, on, on Wednesday at six o'clock in Selfridge. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Now, hang on. Is Sarah Jessica Parker going to be there? <laughs> no, I'm doing my signing in Selfridge at six o'clock <laughs> <laughs> on Wednesday. And Sarah Jessica Parker's not coming. <laughs> my name's Louis Spence. I'm born on the sixth of the fourth, nineteen sixty nine, and my book called Still Still Got It Never Lost It. Unbelievable. <laughs> but it comes out on Thursday the twenty ninth. So Thursday, so I can pre-order it. You can I, pre-order on um, well, all, anyway, all good well, websites. Well, yeah. Well, no, yeah. You know what else you can do as well? Are you doing, you're doing book signing. Oh, I'm doing a book tour. Around the UK. Oh, yeah, I'm going to Scotland. Now, have you started yet? No, no I haven't. I okay, haven't. so Wednesday's the first one at, at Selfridges. At, at Selfridges. At and six then you're around the UK. Now, here's what you can do. And then I go to, I think it's Blue Water or somewhere on, I can't remember the Well, Google it. Or wherever. Find out. Yeah, go to, go, you can go to my website, Louis. You have a website? Yeah. And do you do it yourself? No, my friend does it. I I'm can't say you can't. Do I, it. I, I can't upload those kind of things. Well, no, you, no, you can't. I'm telling you <laughs> no, before. Yeah, exactly. Here's what you can do, which I found out when I did my book signing tour, 
is you know when people go to the big, big bookshops mm-hmm. in town yeah. Yeah. and do signings? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But often it's while you're at work, it's like one o'clock or two o'clock, and you can't get out of work, sure. or you're at school or yeah. college, really, you can't get out. If you go into that bookshop and say, I, w- I want to come to the, for example, the Louis Spence book signing, mm-hmm. but I can't make it, can I buy a book now and ask you to get it signed for me? And they will generally and say, pick it up yeah, later. not a problem. You are good, Chris. And I never Moyles. knew that. And I thought, and I thought afterwards, if you could be bothered, mm. and you checked all the local listings and mm. found out who was signing what in your local town or city, you could just go in and go, uh, Louis Spence, Comedy Dave, whoever, Michael Palin, mm-hmm. blah blah blah, Chris can, Moyles, Chris Moyles. So, so then you, you buy just the go- book, right? And then they will sign it. Then you put back at your convenience, pick it up. Christmas presents sorted. Perfect. Bob's your uncle. Also, your uncle. What a great idea. But you don't encourage that too much because you want the ego flattery of a queue waiting for you. Yeah, if I, everyone I, I, did yeah, that. I, I, yeah, well, exactly. no, I know, but um, if, you can't make, if you can make it, you'll go. No, yeah. absolutely. And if you can't, then you don't miss out because you still get a signed book. You're at Sandwiches at 6 o'clock tomorrow I'm at Sandwiches tomorrow at 6 o'clock tomorrow. Are can you going to come? Can I queue up? I think you said Thursday. Queue. No, Thursday it comes out, oh, like, Dave. officially. Wednesday is right. it's like, a, it's like a premiere. I'm with you. It's like a private, you know, like a private screening at Selfridges. Six o'clock. <laughs> Will there be a red carpet? <laughs> um, no, there's not right. going to be a red carpet. All right. No. Well, this is like a special show. It's going to be Cerise. A Cerise oh, she, carpet she at well. six o'clock at Selfridges. So there you go. And then around the UK, Lou yeah. will be signing. Yeah. You I'm can up and down meet... the UK. Now, when if, if I were to come and see you in... Yeah. yeah. Oh, and also, oh. I'm doing this whole dance thing. I've put three 10-second dance routines up on YouTube. Louis Spence still got it. And... It's out there, so everyone can learn. So when they come to the book signing, right. we do this dance routine. It's only right. like thirty seconds, so yeah, so everyone can do that. So just for a bit of fun, and just so you know, you, if you want, you should follow Louis on Twitter, and then he does this post a link to the video, and he wants the people to learn the video when yeah. they go to his book signings. Yeah. And my Twitter is with an E, L O U I E Spence, S P E N C, not L O U I S. Because after I did John from us, I was trending with an S, L O U I S. I thought, what's the point of trending with an S? I can't even say S. (laughs) No S. It's with an E E. because my dad didn't spell it right. He was meant to spell it L O U I S, but my dad can't spell and he spelled it L O U I E. That's a fascinating story. Is that in the book? Yeah, yeah, it's true. Yeah, I'll I'll pass that bit. Yeah, my sister was meant to be R E double N E, and he spelled it R E. No. Double N I E. My sister Tanya is meant to be T A N Y A. He's all this in the book as well. Yeah, he can't spell. Only because Mum had a nervous breakdown after each one of us. It's all in the book. Right. Yeah, it's all. Did in she the have book. nervous breakdowns before the boob job? No, 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 no. That was after. Because she done, like I said on the throw, she did the boob job on my last school fees when my dad took second mortgage. I got kicked out of school, fortunately, wow. because I told the teacher she had halitosis because I only got put in for art. And so my mum had already had her new boobs done. <laughs> right. With the school fees, which my dad had taken a second mortgage out for. Is your mum in the first series of Pineapple Dance to you? Do you yes, when I took her to, to get, Street, yes, I took to her to Harley Street Botox. to get yeah, a Botox and there was a lorry load out there. She's not happy with that now. She wants to get relifted. She had a lift a few years, well, a good few years back now. Right. She said to me the other day she said how can you say i've had a face she said that was years ago people are going to be looking at me thinking oh god she looks bad on it so she wants another one now right and when you can get a one well if the book does well then i, I my dad said a whole body my dad said you can't even put her glasses on anymore i think the ears are that far back wow i'm amazed you haven't been disowned <laughs> yeah no it's fine no honestly like i said if i pay my parents a- disown me why because you're gay no because i'm a cheeky <laughs> guest <laughs> no she's more than happy as long as she can get lifted and pumped and whatever mm. do you know well, what I, I mean? I, i'm exactly, exactly the same yeah yeah, yeah. If I get, lifted we'll and get a new bathroom like, yeah. we all want that uh what else is it to talk about i think that's the main thing isn't it yeah that's you, need the main co- thing. you need to come back and see us again when yeah. we have more time yeah no absolutely are we, you in the uk now for the foreseeable future i'm here i go back to america in january to wow. promote my new show louis spence dance project for wow. oprah and it's like it's kind of like pineapple it's like pineapple but with americans and they're mm. a lot more um as americans are you know believe in their Fat. dream and no, no. And, and flamboyant flam- very determined mm. loud and, y- yes but then you know not much louder than me right. um but it, 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 it is a really good fun show and th- and it was great to be out there and you know people say that americans don't always get our humor and everything but i mean they certainly well i, I say they, they laugh then maybe they were just being polite when i spat at them mm. maybe they <laughs> thought you were something wrong with you <laughs> exactly and, do, and you are you now friends with oprah do you have her number in i your didn't phone? get to meet oprah but i think when oh. i go when i go back i think that's when i get to meet her well so, I've, got a, I've got a surprise for you she's not here is on she? line one mm. <laughs> somebody wants to speak to you <laughs> it's not yeah hi Louis, it's oprah oh hello oprah 
I think you're rubbish. Bye. <gasps> no, that was me. That was you. Oprah yeah. wouldn't say that because no. her she, her motto is is to live your dream or I can't remember what it is. <laughs> That's good. Someone's going to remember her motto. <laughs> yeah, or something like that. She's got it on her Twitter feed. She's not funny. You, can't, you can't say her motto is to live a dream or something. I can't remember. <laughs> oh come on! It, if I just go to her Twitter. Anyway, she don't follow me though, which I'm a bit disappointed about. I thought she would be following me, considering I'm working for her. You'd have thought, wouldn't you? Yeah. Anyway, I'll sort it out when I go back there. I'll have a word with her. I'm actually right. go on Gal show because Gal's got a show, and right. I'm actually probably do uh, else Oprah's out best friend, who Gail. Gail. Yeah. Gail King's got her own show. Of course, Gail King. Yeah, she's got a show. So. Louis' book is called "Still Got It, Never Lost It." It's his story and only his story. And by the sounds of it, it's about him abusing his parents and then dancing <laughs> with the Spice Girls and take that. <laughs> Are there any stories about uh, who's your who is? Can I guess who your closest friend from the Spice Girls is? You know exactly who it is. It's a little Emma Bunting. It is. It certainly Lovely is. Lovely Emma. Yeah, which she is. You've got, she's doing my TV show this week. You've got I know. To, you've got I to know tell she me is. something about her. I know that, she that is. No one knows. Yeah. Um, Have a think and then let me know later off the air. I oh, no, I wouldn't. I couldn't. Oh, I could. Actually. Oh, yes, you could. No, I could. <laughs> oh, you could. I looked, should I ring her and ask or should I just tell so you? So, one, one of those, you don't even need to tell me, but you need to say something so I can go, oh, Emma, I saw Louis Spence the other day. He told me to tell you jam sandwiches. And she'll go, <gasps> Oh, my God, he didn't tell you the jam sandwiches. No, all I say is that every part of Emma Bunton <laughs> is beautiful. Um, Louis Spence, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, <laughs> tomorrow he'll be at Selfridges in London. What? Just tell at me. Six o'clock. Five forty-five. Five forty-five. I think we do the dance. Then six o'clock at Selfridges. Yeah. For my book signing, I've still got it. Never lost it. Plug, plug, plug. And then it. Well, I mean, I'm sorry, darling. I, I, don't, I say, don't, Have you seen my mum's face? I'm not interested in plugging <laughs> it. I'm just interested in <laughs> spraying it. I think I've got the message. You're there tomorrow. Yeah. 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 Six o'clock at Selfridges. <laughs> 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 on a scarlet carpet. On a Wednesday in September. Mm. Yeah, and you can do the disco dance routine, like I said. Well, you know me, I am uh, I like to move and groove. But are we going to ring each other for matching outfits, or when you come? What, what do you mean? Well, you and me, I mean, literally. Tomorrow? Yeah. I won't be there. You will. I won't come to the book You signs. will. I, I, but you I told me you love me before I come I do here. love you. You told me you love yeah. me in New York. I do love you. But it'll cost too much of a stir if I turn. Oh, right, okay. You know, fine. I'm not yeah, being I funny. Forgot, yeah, huge, mm. massive, yeah. You know, you, you've got to look at it. Yeah. It's, it's like Holly Willoughby at a book sign and then Philip turns up and takes the attention away. You know. <laughs> Chris. It's like Mel C in like. a book signing and Emma Bunton turns up. It wouldn't be right. It, but it's okay, because we're going to make it But okay. like having Helen Mirren on a show and then putting Louis Walsh. Uh, Louis, Louis Walsh! Oh, oh, Louis oh. Best. Listen! What, what a mistake what? to make it. I'm the small gay with a speech impediment. Oh, stop it. Pack and a tight. You derriere. remind me of a young Louis Walsh! Oh, be Jesus. Oh, that's just racist. Uh, so... <laughs> right, Dom? Louis, live to see you. Yeah, I've got to go, so I've got to yeah. do the news, then we've got to yeah. get out of here. I've got to go, I've got things no, to do I've as got well. To go. I've no, I've got to go uh, first. Yeah. No, I've got, I've got, to got go. things to do. No, I've got to go. And when are we going to go out for dinner, you and me? Well, whenever you want. Can I put that up like that? Yes, you can. Whenever you want. I mean, you know, my time is your time. You're mine and I'm yours, just like we said in New York. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. He I did, just got carried away in the moment. He just, did sit with me, wa waiting for my friends to turn up. I looking did. After, looking after me like I was all right and nobody no mates. You, I did look after you. I, I was know. good, wasn't I? You were, you were very good. But mind good. you, when your friend turned up, I thought, oh, well, I might not leave. <laughs> it's very nice. Wasn't he a... Wasn't really? What, Are you serious? Isn't he a trainer or something? I am married and I'm not interested. He's a physio. Like say, a physio. Yeah. Yeah. He's very good. I think, no, I think because I had a Ooh, bit of a dirty hamstring. Yeah. Dave's yeah. a physio for the New York Knicks. Mm. <laughs> That's what did it for me. Which is ironic, because Dave was only four foot three, and the average height of the New York Knicks player was seven foot two. <laughs> he, he's great at massaging anything below the knee. Yeah. <laughs> did mainly leg work, isn't yeah. it? He'd... Oh, after that, forget it. That oh, sounds like my type of guy. <laughs> 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 we could oh. work together on that. <laughs> Am I going Oh, now? it's Louis' mum. She's back in. going now. <laughs> yeah, you are going now. All right, then. Bye. Um, um, ladies and gentlemen, the very lovely Louis Spence. Yes. Thanks for having me in, Chris. You're welcome, Louis. Come Thanks back and see us. Are you prepared Bye. for this? Yes. Let's go in. Yes.